Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at an application for note taking called Zim. Or more accurate accu It's gonna be one of those days where I can't talk accurately. Called Zim Wiki. <laughs> um so I think everyone who takes notes is always on the search for the best note-taking app ever or for whatever platform they're on and I'm like that too for a lot of my applications and um, Zim is the one that I've settled on as being the best one for me now later on I'm going to talk a little bit about why it may not be the best for everybody but let's first jump into what ZimWiki is um, so this is the github page and this is the web page here it says Zim is a graphical text editor used to maintain a collection of wiki pages each page contains links to other pages simple formatting and images um, basically what Zim is is a graphical uh, a GUI version of VimWiki. Now, if you're familiar with VimWiki, VimWiki is basically, well, let's just show you. This is what VimWiki looks like. It's a application or plugin within Vim that allows you to create a structure. Uh, let's see if I can find what the structure actually looks like. Basically, you create links and it creates um, wiki files from an index into child links like this one here. Um, oops. As you can tell, I don't use NerdTree all that often. Then Wiki is down here. So as you can see here, it just creates dot wiki uh, documents or whatever, and uh, and you can go in and press enter or whatever, and use Markdown to format your notes. It's very simple. Um, and it's a it's it's a good option if you're stuck in Vim all the time, and I do use Vim quite often, but there are some advantages that a GUI has over it for note taking, specifically images and actual formatting. So if you look at this, this is just Markdown, right? And really, you can see that it's Markdown. If you want to see it look like, if you want this to actually look like a headline, you'd have to have a, a, a markdown preview or you'd have to publish it into HTML um, and you know that's an extra step so that's what basically what VimWiki is what ZimWiki looks like is this here and this is just a, you know your standard in in the main window here you just have a standard text editor nothing really all that special and I'm gonna show I'll show you some how to some of the um, ways you go through and edit you know and use markdown in order to create format and stuff like that in here in a second but your biggest draw here is going to be your file structure over here um, as you can see you can have may when you first start out the program you, you only have home and then you create links and that shows up either as a main or a, a top level style page I guess is what you'd call it um, or if you use a plus like uh, let's see here like this a plus it becomes a child so it's very simple and now let's go ahead and go home here and I'll just show you how to create a link so you can do it two ways uh, if you want it to be a top level page you use colon the link very simple and then just enter and then if you click on that you'll see now we have a link here at the top level and we can do whatever we want to it um, or we can uh, delete this here go back home and you can see by deleting it it actually removed the link which is very nice if you want to do a multi word link you have to use brackets kind of like you do in Vim only there's a keyboard shortcut for it. so uh, so plus this is a child link and then control R and that creates a file that is a child to home and basically the rest of it is just markdown so if you want to use you want to create a, uh, a h1 heading 
two equals. This is a H1 heading. And three equals. This is H2. Four equals. This is H3. And so on. Uh, lists are just asteri asterisks. Words are hard. I, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Anyways, you know, and then uh, list item and li list item. And you can do numbered, same, you know, just as number. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, just like that. You can also do, um, like, if you wanted to cr use Zim as your, um, like, to do list, just two brackets and list item and so on. And then you can actually go through and you can, you know, check this off. Mark it as not done. Uh, I think that marks it as important, and then just back to the normal. And you can do that. So that's basic the basic idea behind Markdown. Um, and as you can see, unlike in VimWiki, once you've done the Markdown and hit you know enter or space, depending on what you're doing, it goes through and actually formats those the thing that you're on. So instead of having to deal with just basically plain text, you have the actual format. Now uh, you can also add images you can do it in two ways you can go through and you can you can copy and paste or you, excuse me you can just drag and drop and you can do that or you can go through and create a link you know, using the attachment file like this and then that just puts a link in there instead of putting the actual thing now one of the things I wish that really wish that it would um be better at is when you have an actual image in your your notes being able to like say I wanted to resize this the only way you can resize it is, is right clicking edit properties and then type in the pixels width and height that's very inefficient I just want to be able to drag you know a handle or whatever now I understand it's not meant for image manipulation or anything but being able to resize something would be very nice um, so just go through my notes here. So one of the things that this has. So one of the great things is you can you can go through and edit, you know, your page or whatever, and then just leave it. You don't have to worry about saving it. A lot of the times it'll remember your position. It doesn't always remember your position, which is great. I'm, by position, I mean where you've scrolled on the page. Um, I think you have to be on there for a certain amount of time in order for it to save it. Let's see. No, I don't know. Uh, I w I've already exhibited the, the linking markdown of several different flavors. This does have spell checking. My spell checking doesn't work. That's uh, something wrong with my computer. I'm not sure what's going on there. It has an equation editor if you're doing math or f of some kind. I'm not. I've never. I haven't ex explored that at all. You can use calendar pages like this. This is basically where I keep you know a, a daily journal. Um, this is a plugin. So if you want to, um, I believe it's through uh, close. Maybe not. It's, it must be in the preferences. Plugins, yeah, right here. So it has a whole bunch of plugins. You can just, you know, activate with however you want. Um, and I haven't checked through all these, but you, you create table of contents. You can use different tags, task lists, tray icons. Uh, especially if you're using it on Mac, that, tra that tray icon probably, would probably be really cool. Um, Insert screenshot. I do that quite a bit, so I can just you know, hit the uh, let's see, insert screenshot, and it will actually go through and let you ca capture, it and then it'll embed it into your notes, which is really cool. Um, basically, I believe that uses uh, that might be that might be just a a, a GUI of Scrot. I'm not sure. Uh, we talked about the task list dialog, and you can, one of the things another things I haven't looked at is how to use this as a a website server or web server. If you go up here, you can go through and um, uh, where where is it? I just oh yeah, right here. Start web server. I'm not sure exactly sure how to go about do that. There's a there is documentation. What's one of the things that's great about this is that if you go here and go to key, you know just key bindings, it actually opens up a like a, its own notebook of documentation. And it's this is all local, so you don't have to worry about you know losing the website or whatever. Um, 
and it sh shows you everything you need to know about how to create links and importing and exporting files and stuff. So one of the things is we looked a little bit when we were in VimWiki about how uh, VimWiki stores files. They're all that .wiki files. They're pretty much only readable by VimWiki. Uh, of course there's an update. There's always an update. Alright, anyways. So if, you, if we go into uh, our notebook section and do an ls, you just see this is basically the notebook that I was in. And, you know, each of those top level pages is a directory and each low the lowest level is always a just a .txt file so if I go into say uh, journal and uh, CD 2020 10 and you can just see the days of the month there and they're just .txt files and so theoretically if you want it if you had a whole bunch of say you've been keeping a journal for a long time you could just take those from your other file put them in here as .txt files and make sure they have that same uh, folder structure and it should show right up in, in Vim. I haven't tested that to make sure it works that way, but I'm pretty sure it does. Um, one, so one of the things that I really, probably my biggest gripe with this is that you can't have multiple uh, notebooks open at the same time. So if I, now that I'm here in the, the documentation, I actually have to go up here, open another notebook, notes, okay, and to get back to where I was. And that's uh, that's a little annoying. I really wish because it would, if you were able to have multiple notebooks open at the same time, it would allow you to have say I could have all this stuff in one notebook, and then I could, you know, collapse it when I want I'm not using that notebook, and still have it open there for easy use. But I wouldn't have it because you know, when this stuff's all open, you know, it can be. You know, it, it just takes up a lot of room, right? Mm -hmm. So that, that's one thing I really wish that it, it would do, and it doesn't do that, which is disappointing. Uh, let's see here. So I had a script here, but I decided not to follow it. <laughs> Following script is, scripts is for losers. Um, anyway, so I've kind of explained why not VimWiki. Basically. For the, the reason why I like prefer Zim over the wiki is because of images and because of the formatting. It allows it, the markdown to be automatically translated into actual formatting, which is good. I've gone about things that can improve. So uh, the only thing uh, left to do is to talk a little bit about how it's kind of changed my workflow. I'm not a big outliner, but as you can tell, I write fan fiction. I also write original fiction. Uh, and I, I've never been a big outliner. This has changed that because not only is it, I'm, I'd go so far as to call it fun, but it's also something that I can just keep open on one of my monitors all the time, and it allows me to put in you know ideas. I got you know a note section here that I don't actually, I just actually started because I've been actually going through and creating specific places for specific kind of notes, like you know. Linux cast scripts and video scripts and things like things like that it makes it so much easier, and just the organization of it just has completely changed the way I take notes. Now, finally, the last thing why this isn't uh, great for everyone is that this is basically siloed onto your computer. There's no real way of getting your notes from here to your like your phone or on you know you know um, your tablet or whatever now because they are text files you could theoretically take that your notebook folder and put it on your phone or whatever and have it like a regular text editor and it would work it's not gonna unless it's also a markdown editor it's not gonna translate the formatting but it might uh, but it's not gonna be this it's not gonna be Zim there's no way to transfer from Zim to Zim uh, unless it's just between computers so if you have to computers and they both have Zim on them, you could theoretically share the notebooks folder and it would w work fairly well, I think. Um, so that's pr so if you're somebody who use, takes a lot of notes and you need them to be synced across devices, Evernote or SimpleNote or Joplin are probably the best solutions. This one here I think works best because of 
organizationally being able to create links, be able to create tags by, you know, tag, and, you know, that allows you to search easily for different things. It does have a fairly mediocre search. There's not a lot of advanced search here, which is disappointing. Uh, other than that, I really like Zim. So I, uh, I will leave the links in the description so you can check it out yourself. Uh, if you tolerated this video this long, give me a hit the subscri subscribe button and uh, the little bell icon. I don't expect anybody to actually do that, giving this my first video, and I'm just just starting out. Um, so uh, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you next time.